was supposed to be called connect with your body talk. and before I proceed with this I really want to share a very personal story that happened to me today and this changed like everything so I forgot my speech at home I realized it here and I was afraid at all and this is my like second talk in English ever 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 Or 
even not necessarily in a negative way, not really stressing or not uh, thinking too much. That's the biotron even back in there. a positive way, we are here at this further future event and we are envisioning the future. So we are like uh, shifting our energy to this future direction. So we are like looking forward to the future. And this is really easy for us sometimes to forget about the roots. That our roots, right? Like our body, connection to the body, to the present moment. And this is what I was going to talk about, but I'm telling you, I forgot the speech, the speech completely, but I still can give you the technique that I use and that helped me also be here today. So I call this equal attention technique and uh, I teach it also related to yoga practice. So if some of you guys practice yoga that might be quite beneficial so the idea is that we spend most of our time in the head like processing the world and everything around us uh, having our energy in this region not connected to the whole body so this equal attention to him is a very very simple very simple so simple actually that it's easy to think ah uh, you know it's like we know this, we understand this. Because of its simplicity, we neglect this exercise, which probably also you heard about. Anyway, so the idea is that when we live, when we interact, and also you now listening to me, and your attention is focused. It's like a narrow beam of energy going towards me, right? And also, whatever we're doing in life, uh, during the day, anytime. So we have, we used to have our attention focused on one thing. It usually stays in one part of our body. Or like in yoga practice, for example, with yoga practice, when we practice some asana, our attention is also a focused energy uh, being that stays somewhere, let's say a part of the body that we feel the most in the asana, or somewhere where we feel pain or tension, or still in the head while we're thinking, oh, how am I doing this asana now? Uh, what I'm doing next? And still thinking something else. So this equal attention technique, uh, we can all just sit now and close our eyes, just a normal sitting position with your spine straight. And we just try to feel the whole body at once simultaneously from the tips of your toes till the top of your head body at once, not this streaming kind of uh, energy flow going in one direction, but like a huge wide energy bubble that surrounds your body. So you try to become aware of all your body at the same time at once, all the body, all together. So your attention spreads really wide and you become present of all your body. Also, from the evolutionary point of view, our focus again is used to be in the center because of our survival. It's very, uh, it's good for our survival to keep our heart and all the inner organs. So our attention kind of leaks on the extremities and we're not really aware of our tiny body parts like toes, let's say, on the legs or on the arms. So please try to feel the whole body at once. And as soon as you connect with your whole body, you immediately become present. So you shift your mental state into the present moment because our body is all that we have. And this is the simplest, simplest tool to get us back to the present moment. And as you now feel how it feels to be in the present moment, feeling all your body at once, not just one part of it or several parts of it, but just all at once at the same time. And this technique goes further and you start to listen to me and you kind of still hearing me, what I'm saying, but at the same time you still keep this whole body perception at the same time so whatever you start to do after you stand up and go and do your things you keep the same attention spread all over your body so let's say you start working or you start talking to somebody or you start eating 